your guide to constellations, deep sky objects, planets, and events. Tonight's sky, highlights of the April sky. As night falls, Jupiter hangs over the western horizon. The planet's dark bands appear in the sights of a telescope. Ringed Saturn rises in the east by late evening and will remain visible all night long in the south. On April 28th, Saturn reaches opposition, meaning it is opposite the sun in the Earth's sky. It is at its closest to Earth, making it appear slightly bigger and brighter. Late in the evening, High in the northern sky lies the great bear, Ursa Major. The constellation of Ursa Major contains the well-known star pattern, the Big Dipper. It resembles a large drinking cup with a handle. The two stars that make up the front side of the cup are called pointer stars because they point toward the star Polaris, also known as the North Star. The Big Dipper overflows with interesting stars and deep sky objects. The stars Mizar and Alcor make up a double star system that can be seen without a telescope. In ancient times, when Mizar and Alcor were even closer together, they were used as a test of keen eyesight. M81 and M82 are a magnificent pair of galaxies, showpieces of the northern night sky. M82 has an irregular shape bestowed by a collision with its larger neighbor, M81. Turning to the south, we see Leo, the lion, heralding the coming of spring. In Greek mythology, Leo is the great beast slain by Hercules. The star Denebola, which in Arabic means tail, represents exactly that. The bright star Regulus is the heart of the lion. Leo has several galaxies in his belly, M65, M66, and NGC 3628 make up the Leo triplet, a lovely grouping of galaxies easily seen with a telescope. Close by is another group. M95 and M96 are large spiral galaxies. 
Between the Big Dipper and the head of Leo are three pairs of bright stars known to ancient Arab astronomers as the Three Leaps of the Gazelle. The Lyrid meteor shower will be best seen in the early morning hours of April 22nd. Moonlight will interfere with this year's display, but away from city lights, you might see up to 20 meteors per hour. On April 25th, a partial lunar eclipse will be visible throughout most of Africa, Europe, Asia, and Australia the moon will darken slightly as it passes through the edge of Earth's shadow. The night sky is always a celestial showcase. Explore its wonders from your own backyard.